some natural sorrow, loss of pain that has been and may be again. The poet simply guesses, he simply conjectures the theme of the song of this young lady and he says that maybe she was singing about some natural sorrow or some loss, personal loss, loss of her near or dear ones in her family, which might be the theme of this particular song. Whatever the theme the maiden sang, as if her song could have no ending, I saw her singing at the world and over the sickle bending. And then finally, the poet reconciles to himself, saying that whatever the theme the maiden sang that the young lady was singing, as if her song could have no ending, she was singing naturally, spontaneously, without getting worried as to who was listening to her or who was seeing her reaping and singing at that particular moment. She was not conscious, she was not aware at that particular moment. Whatever the theme the maiden sang, as if her song could have no ending, I saw her singing at her work and over the sickle banding. She was doing her job very dexterously. She was doing her job with full heart and she was singing at the same time. I listened motionless and still the poet became still, still means motionless. He became quiet, calm, silently. He was listening to the song. And as I mounted up the hill, the music in my heart I bore. The poet bore that music for the whole of his life because the music was so melodious, so sweet, so natural that it left an indelible mark on his soul. The music in my heart I bow long after it was heard no more. He could not hear that any other song which might be a parallel, which might be compared to the song and the music of this particular 